natural deep water port of Richards Bay is South Africa's premier bulk port. Open to shipping around the clock, 365 days a year, Richards Bay is one of eight operational ports under the auspices of the Transnet National Ports Authority. The combination of specialized cargo handling facilities, fast vessel turnaround, deep water infrastructure and the large greenfield development potential has made the port of Richards Bay one of the world's leading bulk ports. The need for an alternative harbour on the north coast of KZN had been under consideration on several occasions since 1843. However, in May 1972, Parliament authorised the construction of the harbour in Richards Bay to link the Mpumalanga coal fields and the coast. Although three other possible sites for a new port were investigated, these were Cozy Bay, Sordwana Bay and St. Lucia, the choice fell on Richards Bay for a number of reasons. The main factors being the size of the lagoon, ease of dredging, ease of linking up with an existing railway network, an adjacent town, Empangeni, to stimulate development and fresh water, also an aluminium smelter had recently been built there to serve as a stimulus for further development. On the 1st of April 1976, the first phase of the harbour was officially opened with five cargo berths. And in the ensuing years, the port developed rapidly, diversifying into the handling of various other bulk and non-bulk cargoes, over 23 cargo berths. As such, the establishment of the port was the catalyst in transforming a small fishing village into a dynamic industrial city. Viewed as a relatively young and modern port, the port of Richards Bay was initially built as a bulk port to export 26 million tons of coal over the first 10 years. Three decades later, the port handles in excess of 80 million tons annually, representing some 55% of South Africa's seaborne cargo volumes. Situated approximately 160 kilometers northeast of Durban and 465 kilometers south of Maputo, the port of Richards Bay is on the eastern seaboard of South Africa. The port services mainly the Gauteng and Mpumalanga regions as well as local harbour-bound industries. A dedicated railway line connects the port with Mpumalanga and was designed specifically to handle the majority of South Africa's coal exports. Other rail links connect Richards Bay with Durban to the south and Swaziland to the north. There is an adequate road system to Gauteng, Swaziland, Mozambique and Mpumalanga and an excellent road south to Durban. In terms of land area, the port is the largest in South Africa with a total port area of 3,780 hectares that includes large portions of undeveloped land available for future growth. Over time, the port of Richards Bay has the potential to develop into a large global port and can continue to expand upwards along the Umtlatuzi floodplain, providing sufficient port capacity well into the next century. One of the port's inherent strengths is its deep water infrastructure, with a maximum permissible draft of 17.5 meters. This, coupled with 23 cargo berths, state-of-the-art craft and equipment, as well as professionally trained staff, provides a highly efficient and reliable maritime service. The port's maritime services fulfills a multifaceted role, providing essential shipping services and a safe shipping environment through a world-class vessel traffic system that supplies relevant information to ensure the safe navigation of vessels through areas of high-density traffic, channels and approaches to the ports. Marine pilots are transferred to and from vessels by helicopter to ensure the swift and efficient turnaround of vessels. Modern towage infrastructure, berthing and docking services, the provision of lighthouses and the continuous dredging to keep the port at the maintained depth. The port handles approximately 1,800 incoming commercial vessels annually. The port hosts six cargo handling terminals equipped to ensure that our clients can compete in the global arena. These include the bulk terminal operated by Transnet Port Terminals imports and exports in excess of 13 million tons of ore, minerals and wood chips per annum. 
the terminal is linked to eight harbour-bound industries by over 40 kilometres of conveyor belt network system managed through a central control room. BHP Billiton Aluminium Smelters, Grindrod Terminals, Foscore Limited and four wood chip plants, CTC Timber Products, Bay Fiber Central Timber Cooperative Limited, Silver Cell and Shin Cell, collectively making Richards Bay the largest wood chip exporting port. The bulk terminal's capacity for imports and exports is 20 million tons per annum. The brake bulk terminal, also operated by Transnet Port Terminals, handles brake bulk cargoes including ferro alloys, pig iron, steel, forest products, aluminium, granite, heavy lifts, containers, pitch coke and scrap steel. The terminal has extended its business to incorporate some bulk cargo such as chrome ore, lumpy chrome, manganese ore and coal. The brake bulk's terminal's annual throughput for both imports and exports is in excess of 8 million tons per annum. The coal exporting terminal, operated by the Richards Bay Coal Terminal Company Limited, is the largest single coal export terminal in the world. This terminal has an open storage area that can accommodate a stockpile of 7.8 million tons of coal. The terminal's export capacity recently increased from 72 million tons to 91 million tons per annum after the successful completion of the 1 billion rand Phase 5 expansion project. The Island View Storage Terminal, operated by Island View Storage Property Limited, handles a wide range of bulk liquids which include butadine, ammonia, high-purity alcohol, ethyl acetate, subutol, methyl ethyl ketone, hexene, octene, pentene, acetone and detergent alcohol. These products are stored in tanks with pipeline feeds to the dedicated berths. The Richards Bay Bunker Terminal, operated by Engine on behalf of Joint Bunker Services, imports bunker fuel from Durban and Cape Town, which is then dispensed to vessels via fixed key facilities at the coal berths and a bunker barge, which is operated by Smith Amandla Marine. Current facilities occupy about 13 hectares, with ample room for future expansion. There are also facilities for the handling of phosphoric acid exports and liquid pitch imports via pipeline operations. The port of Richards Bay creates over 5,000 direct job opportunities and several thousands more indirect employment opportunities is created through the multiplier effect from port-related economic activities. Transnet National Ports Authority regards its 300 employees as the most precious resource, embracing Transnet's culture charter which focuses on a safety mindset, good communication, treating each other with dignity and respect, empowering people to perform in their jobs, being business focused, recognizing and rewarding good work, delivering on our promises. The company's significant investment in training and development continues to ensure a technically equipped and world-class workforce. Recognizing that a skilled and educated workforce is essential to the sustainability of its business, Transnet invests heavily in both internal and external training, including a bursary scheme with an emphasis on marine-related fields of study. Safety is paramount at Transnet. It is Transnet's primary and continuing policy to conduct its activities in such a way to protect the health and safety of all employees, contractors and others who may be affected by its activities. The Port of Richards Bay Marine Services is ISO 9001-2000 accredited, demonstrating its commitment to service quality and customer satisfaction. In 2004, the Port of Richards Bay was declared compliant to the International Ship and Port Security Code. This code is designed to detect security threats and take preventative measures against security incidents affecting ships or port facilities used in international trade. The port is pleased at having maintained its ISO 14001 accreditation since May 2005 for its environmental management systems and recognizes that it operates within an ecologically sensitive natural environment characterized by abundant plant and animal life. Bearing testimony to the health of the environment within which it operates, a 54-hectare site, Eshwebeni, a Zulu word meaning at the port, 
was declared in 2005 as a site of conservation significance by the Ezembelo KwaZulu-Natal Wildlife. In this flourishing marine reserve, Transnet's employees and visitors enjoy the visiting dolphins and regular sightings of pelicans, flamingos, fish eagles and a host of other bird and marine life. With land areas still waiting to be developed, the port of Richards Bay is perfectly geared and actively pursuing further expansion in terms of the port developmental framework. The following developments are receiving attention. A ship repair facility, additional bulk liquid handling terminals, additional berths for brake bulk and dry bulk, container handling facility through an existing berth, upgrading of roads, rail and services, Richards Bay's thriving business center has every modern facility, sophisticated communication, commerce resources, hospitals and modern road, rail and air link networks. Situated in the heartland of the Zulu Kingdom, Richards Bay is a bustling major port town, which is fast becoming the preferred holiday destination. This vibrant town offers spectacular scenery and unspoilt beaches, with vast expanses of untouched indigenous vegetation, many natural lakes and marshes, Richards Bay is one of South Africa's top waterbird areas and also boasts an abundance of wildlife including hippos, crocodiles and cheeky vervet monkeys. A haven for the sporting enthusiast with its all year round summer climate and the warm Indian Ocean, Richards Bay is an ideal venue for water sports and fishing. The fast-growing Tuzi Gazi waterfront at the port's small craft harbour is a picturesque setting for a number of restaurants and craft shops. The port of Richards Bay fully subscribes to Transnet's One Company, One Vision philosophy and is a collaborative port authority that leads economic growth in a world-class port system. Transnet is geared to delivering freight reliably.